Welcome everyone. I'm sharing with you again today a verse from Psalm 25, a Psalm of David. And here's what the word says. None who wait for you shall be put to shame. Shame is something that we are familiar with as people who live here in this world. Everyone experiences it in one form or another. It's something that came into this world and into our lives as a result of sin. Where you have sin, you have death. Where you have sin, you have guilt and the feeling of guilt, and you have shame. That's what Adam and Eve experienced right away after they ate the fruit that God had forbidden them to eat of. They ate it, and they felt shame because they were naked, and so they hid. And ever since that time, shame has been part of your life and mine, except for the fact that God's plan is to free us from that shame. That's what David speaks of here that no one who waits for the Lord will ever be put to shame. He's not suggesting that we won't ever feel shame because we know, and we've talked about that here already just a few moments ago, that we do know the feeling of shame in life when we've done something wrong, something that we shouldn't have done, or when we've failed to do the right thing, we might experience shame. But God's plan is to free us from it, and he does that through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, as we've said many times, came into the world and bore our sin upon himself on the cross. And part of what he tackled there on the cross was, yes, our sin, but included in that was also our shame, the sense that we've done wrong, the, the feelings that we could never be loved by God and everything that goes along with that. Jesus, in other words, took all of those things to the cross with him for the purpose of freeing us from that shame. And so we thank the Lord today for what he has done for us in Jesus Christ, his son. And, and David is basically reinforcing that idea here, that those who trust in the Lord, just as we trust in Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord, those who trust in the Lord will not be put to shame. We are freed from it all because of Jesus. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you bore on yourself our sins when you went to the cross and you took with it our shame. We need not feel that anymore because in you we are forgiven and we are free. We thank you, Jesus, for all of your wonderful gifts to us. Help us daily to wait upon you. And we pray this in your name. Amen. Thank you for taking a few minutes with me today. Blessings to you.